Hey, what's going on, everyone? Josh here with Piano Marvel. Happy belated July 4th, if you celebrated in the States yesterday. Um, I have a very exciting thing that I am uh, pretty excited to share with you today. So, for the longest time, I've been thinking it would be really amazing to be able to slice music more efficiently, okay? So, here's a famous work by Rachmaninoff, the prelude in C-sharp minor. I tried to learn it in Piano Marvel with slicings. I made my own custom slicings, and I made slicings that were two bars long. And it works for these two first bars because that's easy. But as soon as I get to the next two, I was able to get through this, but then getting to this next section, it was too hard. So I realized, hey, I need to slice this one bar at a time, okay? Um, now, even if you're slicing, you know, four bars at a time, eight bars at a time, 16, whatever, this video is going to apply to you because what... One of our amazing customers has done um, with some help, you know, testing from me and then help also from one of our awesome developers to help just fine tune things to work with my system. and Hopefully everyone else's system uh, is build. She, she is so awesome. Her name's Deb Orton. She was an Apple developer and she helped develop. This is so cool. Uh, check this out. So I've sliced, uh, I've learned this song all the way up to measure 17. Okay, so now I want to keep going measures 18, 18 on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little thing over here. I'm going to say we're starting in measure 18. We end in measure. Uh, this piece is how many measures long? 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 62 measures long. Okay, so we're going to end in measure 62. We start on exercise number 52 because we're continuing. We're going to do one measure in each exercise. I'm not going to do reviews because I'm just weird like that. But if you wanted to do reviews, you could do that. And um, that has separate hands. Yes. Slow tempo. We're just going to do one tempo is what I'm doing. Okay. Now, the start point, I always start at measure one. And I have a video about this recently, but I always start at the beginning of measure one. And then instead of going to like here, I would always jump to the next measure. I have a video talking about slicing that delves more into that. So I'll link that if you want to check it out. Um, so now I'm set up, okay? So now I go over here to my uploads. I open up this piece. Now this is, this is the crazy part, okay? So check this out. So I go over here. I'm going to delete these because these I didn't even do them right. So I'm going to just delete those. And now I press a button. And it's going to run. And it's only going to run for a minute, okay? But that minute, let's see how many slicings it makes for me. Now, it only runs for a minute because I don't have the paid version. It's ex kind of expensive, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm just using the free version because I'm a cheapo. But this is good for you if you want to try this out for yourself. Um, so I kind of like this because I've always wanted Piano Marble, like for the slicing stuff, I've always wanted to slice as I go. You know, because like if I slice it and I've had this issue before where I slice the entire piece and then I realize halfway through that I messed up the slicing and to redo all the slicing again, I literally stopped playing a Chopin waltz because I got through that first A section, but then the B section, I messed up the slicing. And now with this device, I'm able to actually like, I know it sounds like I'm such a lazy person, but it takes a lot of time for me to slice. So this little script, this tool that Deb has made is really quite wonderful and it's going to save a lot of time. Now speaking of time, it just exceeded its max execution time. So it went for one minute. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to see how far we got. Okay. So we got to measure 23 got done. So I'm just going to delete right here, measure 24. And now we can go back over here in Piano Marble. We'll press refresh and you should see that I have lots of new slicings to play today. So I'm going to go get some practicing done. If you want to check this out, let me know. I'll link all this kind of stuff in the um, description so that you can check it out yourself. I think this is a really amazing tool, and I want to do a major shout-out to Deb. And um, she has a friend or a significant other named Fernando that helped her do this. So shout-out. Mega shout out to them for making something like this. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. And we do have plans. Um, we have, you know, big dreams of being able to make this even easier, like where you could do it on the music. But this is like, I think, 
with where we are right now, we have so many things going on in Piano Marvel that we're trying to get out there. And so this is a great solution that like I can use right now. Like I've been craving this and I have so many pieces. Like I said, I have this waltz. Uh, I just did this too the other day. So I can I can go and get a lot of this stuff done that I've been wanting to do. So I hope that this is something that you will look at and check out and be excited to use. Um, let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns, as always. Thank you so much for watching these videos. And uh, I hope that this is an exciting way to start your Wednesday morning. Thanks so much. Talk to you later.